Hey guys, and welcome back to the Halloween channel. Today I have a very special review for you guys. This right here is the six foot Angel of Death animatronic. Now, this was a Halloween prop that came out at Home Depot in 2016. It was one of the big highlights. And um, this is the third life size animatronic that I have gotten, or actually over life size. Um, the first one, of course, being the Cornstalker, if you've seen my uh, Halloween Yard Tour from last year. And the second one is another one that I got this year that I'm not gonna tell you about because that one's so cool that uh, I'm gonna wait until we get to the season to show you that one. But um, anyways, more about this piece. Uh, this is a very mechanical prop. There's a bunch of animation on it. There, the wings move, the head moves, the hands move, and the mouth moves, and the chest flashes. So there's just a lot going on with this uh, Halloween animatronic. So um, anyways, yeah, this guy, when I first saw him on online, on the reviews and everything, I thought that he looked really cool and it actually goes uh, well with my theme. What I'm going to be doing this year, um, I'm going to be changing up the Haunted Cemetery theme and I'm going to make it a, a complete boneyard with skeleton animals. Because, you know, part of Halloween is like, you know, the dead and all that other stuff. And um, I thought that this would be a good... Uh, what would you say, guardian or ruler of the cemetery? He's going to be by the front gate. And I think that he fits very well. And it just adds more uh, more animation to the yard. So, uh, yeah. Another thing I'm going to be doing this year is uh, inspired by Spooky Village's uh, Spooky Town theme from last year. And that being a haunted pumpkin patch. So, the complete... Uh, once you get up to the front of the front of the house, there's gonna be a whole bunch of orange lights and jack-o'-lanterns, and you know, t and uh, <clears throat> animatronics and all that other good stuff. Because in my eyes, nothing screams Halloween like a good scarecrow, like demented scarecrow and orange lights and pumpkins. You know, that's just, you know, it doesn't get more nostalgic than that. But, um, anyways, more about this piece. I guess there's really nothing, uh, left for me to do other than to show you what it does, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I am the demon of the underworld. I am watching you. Try to run. Try to hide. I'll fly through the night and find you. I am watching you. All right, in case you guys were wondering uh, what this wire is doing here, well, when I first got this, uh, I actually had quite a few complications. Well, what's happening is basically the head along with the arms were not moving because um, the design of it, as you can see, the head's kind of jutting out, but uh, it was too heavy for it, and so therefore it wouldn't turn, and so, you know, the mechanism wouldn't work. So what I decided to do was I was going to get a piece of... um. Uh, I forgot what you call these, but I was going to attach this to the little bar right here and get some fishing string because, you know, that's very hard to see, especially in the dark. And so that way, you know, everything moves properly. And it's been working wonders. So, yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> that's why the string is there. Uh, with that said, I still, I love this prop. So anyways, guys, that pretty much makes my review of the... Um, uh, Angel of Death animatronic. I know it was kind of a shorter video, but short and sweet. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe, like, and um, as far as what I'd rate this prop, I'd give this uh, an easy 9 out of 10. It's not the best one that I have, or not even as good as the Cornstalker, but it's still, it's, it's really, it's really, really cool. So yeah, guys, this was the Halloween channel, and see me next time where I'm going to be reviewing, finally, the Jemmy Glow Ups.